you know, there's contemporary and then there's also historical uses of drumming. I'm, I actually have my master's from the University of Washington in ethnomusicology, and my focus was on um, drum cultures of the Yoruba um, of the Yoruba tribe of the southwest region of Nigeria. In a historical context, and actually contemporary in um, Nigeria, various er regions, um, areas around West Africa, drums have been used for communication. They've been used also for healing. So, you know, um, whether it's um, within a religious or secular context. In a religious context, a lot of indigenous um, religions um, amongst the Yoruba and amongst the very, um, various tr um, tribes or um, ethnic groups um, throughout West Africa utilize drumming and, you know, drumming in general for, for prayer, for, um, for spiritual healing, for spiritual enlightenment. We actually see that e even done so, um, in contemporary like church settings and, you know, even within African-American culture, but actually all, a lot of different cultures throughout the United States, you know, utilize drums, whether it's the drum set uh, for, for praise or for prayer. You know, um, you definitely see a strong emphasis on music within African-American culture, of course. So, you know, I'll definitely introduce um, African drumming. I'll introduce some of, the, um, some, of, some of the history that I've introduced today about how African drumming was used throughout the diaspora, especially in the United, in the United States and, you know, throughout the Caribbean for resilience, to fight back, to encourage people to say, hey, you know, we see injustice, injustice and we're going to actually go against this injustice because it's not okay, you know? And just as anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King said that. And so understanding, um, you know, understanding how culture can be used as that. Uh, also, I want to take away the fact that, you know, culture is healing and that there's diverse, pers there's diverse methodologies for healing. So, you know, I'm going to be introducing, of course, an African modality for healing. And I just want people to... Um, you know, be able to experience that, be able to experience that stress relief, be able to experience happiness through drumming, um, through culture, and even get a, get a diverse experience within that. The third thing that I'd like to um, introduce is how fun it is actually to learn about cultures other than your own, or even just like about cultures that have been suppressed in the United States for so long and be like, hey, Actually, you know, this is actually fun. Why is it that I don't learn this? In the, why is it that my children aren't learning this in the school system? You know, so a lot of my education that I want to, you know, what I'm going to, um, what I'm going to teach, I hope gets people to think about like even what they're taught within traditional school settings and, you know, builds and continues to just help to build that movement of equity and inclusion.